breeding season here at Running Springs. We are checking recent mares starting out with Charlotte. But if you weren't paying attention last week or you weren't watching, we have an embryo coming from Texas. Now this embryo isn't frozen. We have to actually breed the mare, flush it, and then it has to be sent here. And so we have to have a recent mare that is timed up with the donor mare. The donor mare actually kind of looks like you. She's a big gray mare too. So this might be a good time to introduce a twitch and let y'all know that it's not harmful. Okay, so the bottom of their lip, you know, you can pinch your own lip and kind of see that it doesn't really hurt. It's that little skin at the end that doesn't have a whole lot of nerves. But what it does is it takes the horse's attention off of what's going on. Also, it releases some endorphins and can calm them down. So yesterday they checked the donor mare. She had two follicles, one on each ovary, and they were both about the size of a three. So depending on, you know, the mare's follicles today, what kind of like edema they have at what stage of their heat they're in, we'll see if we have one that works with her. So Charlotte has a two five. Now we gave her Lutalize yesterday. We're gonna give her another shot because she doesn't really have good edema, a little bit smaller follicle than the donor mare. Now the Follicle size doesn't matter as much as long as we can get the mares to ovulate in a timely manner. We're going to give her another shot. We'll probably check her again in a couple days. Let's check Willow or Maggie next. Or Raven. Willow. We're doing Willow. Willow was not given a shot this week because she had good edema last week, had a 3-5 on one of her ovaries. So hopefully she hasn't ovulated already. So she did have a little bit of growth on her culture. So what they did is they sent it off to see what type of bacteria it was so that we could treat her with the correct antibiotic to kill it. So the 3-5 that she had on her right ovary last week, she has now ovulated it. So she is out of the running for this one. This is why you have multiple mares. Okay, last week we had three that were possibilities and now like Charlotte's like a maybe. We really need Raven to bring it home. Okay, bring it home, Raven. I need you to have good edema and a three. So Raven's in good heat. Do you want me to freeze that? It's a two, six. Okay, good girl Raven. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what size follicle they have. All it matters is if we get that ovulation timed correctly. Both mirrors ovulate in a timely manner. So the donor uh, ovulating one day, the recip ovulating the next. And then obviously the donor has to get pregnant and all those things as well. But what we have to focus on is the ovulation. So we're gonna figure out when they're giving the donor mare an ovulation shot, and then we will delay it a day for Raven. We're also gonna recheck Charlotte just to be sure, because if we can have two mares synced up, that would be ideal. But if not, it does look like Raven is pulling through for us. Let me know if you have any questions and stay tuned because we're gonna check Beyonce and Maggie and attempt to sync them up.